Switching people rounds with live rounds is clever, even if it wasn't possible. <laughs> Now this time, Andy is around 15 or 16, give or take, and he's clearly an older character with even older problems. That's right, Chucky's back and he no longer wants to possess Andy, but he wants new fresh meat and Andy just happens to be in the way. This one took it in a different angle from the first. Nobody believes him about the killer doll, but when he reveals he is human to his possible host, they don't hide the fact that he does so like in part one. Instead, it takes a sort of comedic turn and it becomes sort of a cat and mouse game with Andy trying to find Chucky and Tyler. Tyler is Chucky's potential host, and it also turns into Chucky trying to find Andy, but mostly he's trying to find Tyler. The only reason he wants Andy is for two things, revenge and to keep him from interfering with his transformations. Chucky is definitely more mean-spirited than this one, and he has a few cruel kills, such as the Garbage Man, the Toy Company owner, and the Paintball War scene, which would have been a more awesome if it was a massacre, in my opinion. Chucky is a kick-ass character, but I thought you truly get a feeling that he ruined Andy's childhood in this installment. The ending of this movie felt like they couldn't compete with the showdown at the Toy Factory from Part 2, but at least they tried, and the Mises Park is always nice touch in horror movies. Unless you're the Texas Chainsaw 3D movie. That movie totally ditched the idea right when it began. Bummer. Anyways, back to Child's Play 3. It was a decent installment and I found it to be an excellent addition to the Child's Play franchise. Overall, I give Child's Play 3 a 2.5 out of 5. Which is the perfect middle grade in my opinion. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments and subscribe. Also, check back on March 17th for a bundle of reviews.